Here's your NBC 26 News update. I'm Nina Sperano. Friends, family, and co-workers have all expressed their thoughts following Saturday night's shooting at the Oneida Casino Complex. Today, we spoke with a close friend and co-worker of Ian Simpson and Jacob Bartell. Sarah Sai Vong says she knew Bartell for nearly 11 years. He was definitely the, my favorite person to say hi to when I walked into work. He was just a really good person. He was, he was only 35. <laughs> this is a horrible thing to happen to someone so great. Ian Simpson and Jacob Bartell were the two people who were killed in the shooting on Saturday. The Oneida Nation plans to hold a ceremony for the victims on Wednesday. In other news, a massive fire has destroyed the George A. Whitting paper mill in Menasha. Firefighters say they do not know what started the fire at this 139-year-old building that began around 7.30 last night. Menasha officials say the walls and structure are complete, extremely unstable and could collapse at a moment's notice and are urging people to stay away from the property. It's unfortunate that that didn't happen, but, you know, from the ashes rise new buildings. The mill used to make specialty paper products, things like construction paper and greeting cards, closed back in 2016. Time now for a check on our weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Cameron Marland. Cam? Hi, Nina. I hope everybody enjoyed those summer-like conditions over the weekend because summer-like weather is not coming back anytime soon. Here's a look at the week ahead. The normal high is now 62 degrees. We're going to be below that each and every day. Tomorrow, lots of clouds, maybe a little sunshine by the afternoon. Sun and clouds on Wednesday. Showers late. Those continue into Thursday morning, followed by sun and clouds Thursday afternoon. Good chance of showers on Friday, sun and clouds Saturday. Showers return for Mother's Day, and then sun and clouds and maybe a shower a week from today. Have a great night, everybody.